Hey everybody out there in Intro to Information Technology Land. I'm going to show you how to uh, install Linux on your machine today. So welcome to my office and welcome to this tutorial. Um, first of all, go to Blackboard and go to the course and go into the uh, module uh, for the week, which in this particular case is week four. And there's a virtual participation link down at the bottom. First thing I want you to do is there's a, a path that you want to highlight with your mouse and right click and copy that path. And now we want to go to Finder and we're going to put that path in Finder and uh, connect to that server. And by clicking Go Connect to Server Go is in the menu up at the top and then click down at the bottom Connect to Server and you should get this uh, connect to server window and I want you to right click and paste that path into the server address and then click connect and that's going to connect to Virgil uh, the server where that file lives and inside that folder is an ISO file it's an image file we're going to use that to install Linux uh, an ISO file is like a an image for a, a CD so uh, that's what we're going to use so grab that and drag it over to your desktop and drop it there and that's what we're going to use. So get, once you get that moved over, it may take a, a minute or two to actually copy that to your desktop. Go ahead and close Finder. And now you want to open Parallels Desktop. Go down again to your taskbar at the bottom, and there's a Parallels Desktop. Uh, should be a link there. Click on that, and you'll get an image similar to this. You may have to click through a few uh, information and setup menus to get to this one, but Eventually you'll get to this Parallels Desktop uh, installation window where I want you to click on the far left hand side, the new Windows installation section. So click on that and it should bring up the new Virtual Machine Assistant and we're going to install um, Linux uh, using not the CD but, but that ISO file that we talked about. So click this little drop down arrow here and uh, choose an image file and we're going to go to the desktop where we saved that file and click on it and in there is there is my ISO image so I'm going to go ahead and open that and click continue and our installation will begin you need to type in a username and a password and the uh, password is doesn't matter you're setting this up for your own machine so um, you don't have to put in your OC network password. Go ahead and uh, click continue and give your uh, Linux installation a name. I've already installed it once, so I'm going to call this one 2. And that name is completely arbitrary. You can give it anything you want. And then click the create button. Now this is going to create, first it's going to create a virtual machine. A virtual machine is a, it, it's a hardware modeled in software. It's actually, um, uh, making all of the components of your hardware um, a file, basically. So your hard disk is a file, your network card is a file, your uh, CD-ROM is a file, Your ev everything you interact with your computer is going to be uh, based in software on top of the hardware. So there's another uh, instance of that layering architecture we've talked about, those uh, layers of abstraction. So uh, prepare to install the operating system. Now we're ready. It's created the virtual machine. We haven't installed Linux yet. We just created the virtual machine. So go ahead and click start. And uh, you should see this Parallels Virtual Machines window pop up. And uh, it will begin the installation. So once that is done, you'll get a, a list of your uh, Parallels Virtual Machines. You'll, you'll have Boot Camp and then you'll have whatever you called your Linux installation. Um, and It's going to take a while to install that and you will have to do some setup. You'll have to put in some information for Linux to uh, configure itself. But once you're completely done with that, uh, I think Linux will start by itself, but you may, you may have to click here on your uh, uh, installation list. So I'm going to do that. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and, and once you do that, you'll get a, a window like this that 
your Linux hasn't started yet, it's just starting the virtual machine. So in order to start Linux, I've got to click start there. And uh, I wanted to give you a couple of tips while uh, Linux started. Um, you're in a virtual machine here, so once you click inside this window, you're going to be stuck in there as if it's uh, a separate computer because that's what it is. That's what the, the uh, software, the Linux, thinks it's a, a separate computer even though it's running on top of your other operating system, which is running on top of your hardware. So um, since that's the case, it doesn't know, it, it's not aware of anything outside of that window. So if you want to actually get out and go to Mac and do some other things, which you'll probably need to do, um, you need to press Control alt to release the mouse. Uh, notice down there at the bottom of the window, there's a, a, a Control alt uh, that was showing. So I'm going to click that, I'm hold down Control and press Alt, and it releases the mouse. So now I can move outside of the, the Linux window. I can move the window around and do some different things. So one of the things I'm going to do is just move that window where I can see it completely. And also, when you start Linux, um, this is the way it was for me when I installed it, the Linux window was too big for my screen, so I needed to change the size so I could see the whole window. So click on uh, System up here at the top in your Linux window for System uh, Preferences, and then scroll down to Monitors. And when we click on that, we'll get uh, see our monitor preferences and you can change the resolution. You might be able to get away with uh, a 1024 by 768 size monitor. You may have to make it even smaller to see the whole thing, but just get it where you can see the entire Linux window in your laptop window. And then click Close. And uh, I want you to go into Linux and play around and do some things that you usually do in your regular computer. You know, you've got games, you can uh, connect to the internet, you can uh, uh, write uh, word processor documents and spreadsheets and presentations, uh, sound and video, you've got uh, places to store stuff just like a regular computer, you can connect to other, and you've got all kinds of uh, system preferences like you have in in Windows in the control panel. Uh, so play around with it. Um, Linux is a complete operating system just like any of those that we talked about in uh, the lecture and in the chapter. It's, it controls and manages your hardware, it uh, schedules things, it uh, looks at your battery, looks at the time, it looks at the speakers, it, it knows you've got a keyboard and a mouse. It Just like any other operating system, it completely controls uh, your hardware and the uh, user experience. So play around with it and let me know what you think. Uh, when you're done, um, you will go back to the, I'm going to click Control alt to get out of my Linux window now and go back to uh, Mac and I, I want to hear what you think of Linux. You know, compare it to Windows and Mac and note the similarities and differences and tell me if you had any trouble installing it and if so, what happened and tell me the kinds of software that it comes with and what you like about it, what you don't like. Uh, would you use it and would it be used in what situations would it be useful? Um, and I want you to write all that in a, uh, a short report by clicking on this virtual participation link. And uh, please don't attach any documents here. Just go into uh, this assignment material section and write your report. You can write it out on a word processor and then copy and paste it into uh, this box. And uh, when you're done, click Submit, and that will be your virtual participation for next, uh, next time. Thanks, guys. We'll see you uh, next class period.